The notch trend shot to fame after Apple debuted iPhone 10 last year and soon it was adopted by Android smartphone makers across price segments. Now, the water drop notch trend is catching up and handset makers are going almost bezel-less without compromising on the status bar space. Chinese smartphone player Vivo is the latest to introduce this design in its V11 Pro. The device has been launched in India for around Rs 26,000 and comes with a fingerprint sensor that is integrated into the display. Here's our review of the V11 Pro. Phones curved rear with a polycarbonate ensured that it was comfortable for single-handed use. Not using metal and glass makes the device incredibly light and durable as well. The right side houses the power button and volume rockers, which are made of metal. The 6.41-inch Halo full-view screen takes up most of the front and the bottom bezels are even slimmer now, while the water droplet-style notch at the top leaves almost all the status bar for users. In terms of design language, the V11 Pro definitely scores over Xiaomi's Poco F1. The AMOLED screen made sure the display was bright and vivid with a good saturation and contrast ratio. The images and text looked sharp on the AMOLED display panel, which is essential for having an under-display fingerprint scanner. The 12MP plus 5MP primary camera comes with dual-pixel autofocus but lacks optical image stabilization. We especially liked the Auto HDR mode, which resulted in crisp and well-balanced pictures with the right amount of exposure of dark and bright areas. V11 Pro was quick to fix focus on the subject. The primary snapper also handled low-light photography quite well. The 25MP front snapper took some great portrait shots. It can thus be safe to say this is the best selfie camera in the price segment. Another high point of the smartphone is its 3400mAh battery which lasted a day and a half on a single charge. The company's own FunTouch OS 4.5 based on Android 8.1 Oreo is customized but thankfully that doesn't result in performance lags. Day-to-day -day activities and the multitasking were smooth on the device. What does not work? It was disappointing to see a micro USB port instead of the future-proof USB Type-C port on the smartphone. While Vivo may have mastered the in-display fingerprint sensor, it is still a little sluggish when compared to rare mounted fingerprint scanners. Vivo V11 Pro is a good recipe for an all-rounder smartphone. To sum up, it is a good mix of performances and value. INS Report Subscribe to our channel, just click on the bell icon for all the latest updates.